yours today. Oh, lads, is it not a bit early for that? No, it's not. Sure, the telly Tubbies has just started. <laughs> sure, you can follow that all right? As a matter of fact, we're celebrating you and your wife leaving. We're only going on holiday. I'll be the one having a holiday. For the first time in years, this house will only have Protestants. <laughs> and they will like having Storm out back. <laughs> so you lads just gonna sit about all week drinking beer? No. There's vodka, scotch, <laughs> vodka <and> tea. <laughs> What'd you do? Robbing off license? Who squealed? Moving! <laughs> what? Has this stuff been nicked? Excuse me. We stole nothing. It was that McCarthy gang. Them juvenile delinquents at the top of the street that I've been ordered you to do something about. They nicked it. And we took it off them. <laughs> to teach them that stealing is wrong. All the stolen goods in my own house? as well. I had to take them off them. It was the principle of the thing. Right, everything in this house is impounded. When I come home, it's all going back. Look, stop drinking that. It's not yours. I'll buy it back. Do you not trust me? I'm not saying I don't trust you. Right, Billy, I did exactly what you told me. I've locked up our bedroom door. All our checkbooks and credit cards are with us. And I've warned all the delivery men not to accept any of them £20 note off Uncle Andy. That was my fault. I took them notes off the McConkey gang in good faith. Billy, are you just going to let them sit around drinking? Well, I thought it would keep them out of trouble. Could you just not do that down the knee breakers? We can't go down there on account of the sort of people they're letting in. What, Catholics? <laughs> no, there's people down there worse than Catholics. <laughs> in particular, that madman, Red Hand Luke. Not him again. Yes, him. And he's decided I'm his best mate again. He's on my shoulder everywhere I go. As soon as I walk in, the bar clears. Nobody wants to know me. Now I know how David Trimble felt after he signed that agreement. <laughs> Listen, why don't you just sit Luke down and very tactfully say to him, Luke, you're a bin little looper and a twisted psycho now. Would you please piss off? Hey, <laughs> we Sandy tried that in 1973. Who? Exactly. <laughs> but I thought Luke had changed. I thought he'd found God. Well, why can't God be his best mate then? He's my life ruined. He follows me everywhere I go. Yesterday, he followed us into an automatic toilet. Well, like two's company. Three's a crowd, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's 10p a go. <laughs> right, that's us. And here. Try not to burn the house down. <laughs> As if that would happen again. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Why? It was Morphe Richard's fault for not inventing a chip pan that wakes up drunkards. Come on, Billy. Mallorca, here we come. You enjoy Italy now. <laughs> Here, Uncle Andy. See the tally tubbies. What religion are they? <laughs> well, obviously, Protestant. How do you make that out? Well, the sun's shining. They're in a feed. It's just like the twelfth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, aye, and the way they're always marching around and then saying, again, again, again. Ah, uh, no. You haven't forgot your passports, have you? Morning, Andre. Hello, Luke. My TV's broke. Can I watch yours? Um, certainly. Good. Send it round, then. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm trying to get the Northern Ireland Assembly card out. I don't think there's any in this one. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, no, he hasn't emptied out another pack of crispy sugar honey wheat flakes, has he? Do you know he's collecting his Northern Ireland politician stickers for his Assembly wall chart? Look, I've got a David Trimble and a John Hume. All that needs a Jerry Adams for a full parser and cabinet. Do you ever wonder if this society is becoming too politicised? Oh, no, not in our bloody red, Jampy. 
I've got eight of them already. Ma, we're going to have to get in our box. No, no, you don't eat them. I will, I will, I will. No, no, you pull out the stickers and don't eat the crispies. There are 12 boxes in that kitchen, not eight. Oh, Ma, please. Look, why don't you go to the wee lad across the street and swap one of your rage empties for a Jerry? He's not worth it, Jerry. You wouldn't even get a John Older days for him. <laughs> Maybe they're not giving out the Jerry stickers until there's decommissioning. Then he'll never complete his wall chart. No, that can't be right. Because I've already got a David Irvine and a Gary McNagel. Ah, well, maybe that's just the double standard of crispy sugar honey wheat flakes. <laughs> How are we going to get all these eaten? Do you know what we need? A guest. Somebody to come and stay for a week and help us get through them. Who have you invited? I haven't invited anybody. Cousin Rory's coming, though. Oh, no, 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 no. For God's sake, Cousin Rory. Oh, it's not that time again, is it? It's only once a year. I will so children in need, but you can switch that off. <laughs> you are still bitter about that. I've told you before, you're 33, you're not eligible for a grant. He's not getting my room this time. Yeah, I don't expect me to be nice to him. What is wrong with you two? What do you not like about him? It would be easier if you asked me what I did like about him. What do you like about him? Nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. He comes from County Kerry. I like that. Oh, so just because he's a southerner? Well, that is indicative of your partitionist attitude. It is indicative of him being a pain on the backside. Look, he's a good Republican, even if he is a wee bit fussy. Picky. Miserable. Dour. Humorless. Ungrateful. Disobliging. Downright rude. Obnoxious. Why do you invite him every year? I don't. He invites himself. Look, Ma, don't worry. He won't be here for... Let Cousin Rory in, Carl, would you? <laughs> I am telling you, no good will come of this. That man is bad luck. Don't be silly. Huh? When was the first time he visited here? 1969. You see? <laughs> That's just superstition. And he came here every year until when? August 1994. And we didn't see sight nor sound of him for how long? 17 months. <laughs> I just hope he never visits Bosnia. That's all I can say. That's just coincidence. <laughs> he is like a bad penny. There's an historic agreement, a real chance of peace, and now he turns up. Rory! Do you feel the cards in the gale come as a title? Yes. My yellow div, Shinata Arawal. So, the Maha Chung and the Chira Lord, Chuffy me own fame, Verla Masla Lua and Snakta Alort. Come again? I said, as a concession to those who are too lazy to speak the mother tongue, I will force myself to speak the accursed language of the Saxon oppressor. What? He's going to speak English so we can understand him. Penny? You see? He's mellowed. Cal, can you take my bag into your room? That's a good lad. Go to my gitch. <laughs> Thanks, Mervyn. No, look. Come on in and watch TV with us. We couldn't just let him take your TV. He's welcome to it. He's been here all day. I'm never going to get rid of him. Why, well, I'm away while he's in the bulge. You're staying. This is your fault. You're staying. What? Well, I've been here all day. Don't leave me. He's doing my head in. All he wants to do is sing Wamble songs. <laughs> well, we've sung them all. And talk about the good old days in the shipyard. Like, I wouldn't mind, but he never even worked there. <laughs> and are you going to tell him? No, because I'm leaving. You're staying and helping me to get rid of him. Well, how are we going to do that? I tell you what, we'll pick a film he's burned not to like, and he'll leave. Well, there's no point in messing about. Channel 4 is what you want. <laughs> Michael Collins. Are you mad? <laughs> he wrecked the place when he saw the quiet man. <laughs> well, BBC Two's run the pervy season. That'll do. He's a Christian. It'll drive him out. Belle du Jour, Bon Noël's classic, starring Catherine Deneuve as a Ford housewife who turns to prostitution. <sighs> Contains nudity. Perfect. <laughs> ah, yes. I love the surreal satires of the French school. I think you'll find Bon Noël was Spanish. 
Mervyn. <laughs> you what, you're not? No, but Mervyn was. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no problem, look. Good. Because I want for to watch my video tape now. It's a three-hour compilation of the highlights of Songs of Praise. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to enjoy that in peace and quiet. I don't like for to watch television on my own, Andrew. No problem, Luke. I enjoy a good hymn myself. <laughs> Stick it in there, Big Mervyn. But Uncle Annie, it's not even Sunday yet. If you don't put it in, we'll not see Sunday. <laughs> oh, aye, Gran. <laughs> hmm? I hope they sing Abide With Me. Well, now, there are six versions on this particular tip. <laughs> but there's only three on this one. As you will see later on, Andrew. <laughs> I would appreciate it very much if you would not drink alcohol during songs of praise! <laughs> it shows disrespect. Plans. Well, I'm here purely for pleasure, you know. I'm going to let my hair down a little bit. Tomorrow I'll visit the Republican plot. I'll visit the place where Henry Joy McCracken was mercilessly hung by the neck until dead. And then maybe a wee jaunt to Balnehinch to see where Betsy Gray was brutally cut down by the British Yeomanry. And then on day two... Aye, well, Jermaine, if we watch TV, nay. Nah. If you have to. What's that one? Well... On BBC One. <laughs> what? The British Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> of course, it's your own affair, but I wouldn't care to watch the British Army's propaganda machine spew out its lies, insults, and calumnies upon the Irish people. Don't eat Junior Master Chef, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, put on UTV. UTV. Ulster television. Now, what Ulster would that represent? Now, tell me. <laughs> the historic Gaelic nine-county province of Ulster, incorporating Donegal, Cavan and Monaghan, or the artificially gerrymandered six-county orange stateless of Ulster. Um, the second one. <laughs> If you want, that is of course your own affair. But if you ask me, UTV is Broad TV. Okay, okay. We'll watch RTE. Ah, that partitionous 26 county <laughs> free state station, which your gay Westbrook born to entertain you of a Friday evening. Well, the martyrs of 1916 would be very entertained, I'm sure, with your late, late show. Okay, okay, I know. Hellafish, Nick Gaelic. I think not. What the hell could be wrong with Tina G? The programmes are boring. <laughs> Help of the helpless Lord. Abide with me. You see, it is better after you rehearse it a few times. 25. <laughs> oh, aye. Oh, well, thank you, Luke, for a very entertaining evening. Well, I'm sure, like myself and Big Mervyn, you're very tired and you would like to go to your bed. Right, that's right, Andrew. Well, cheerio. We must do it again, perhaps next year sometime. I want for to sleep here. Uh, why? Because I feel I am amongst friends. And oh, indeed you are, Luke. Well, good night. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. I'll be no bother. You won't even know that I'm here. Right. Well, good night. What time do you serve the breakfast? Huh? Six o'clock would suit me. You see, you get used to an early breakfast in the jail. You don't mind? Oh, no. 
sweet dreams. Andre. Aye, one where you run over, you mad bastard. <laughs> Sleep. Aye, well, that sofa's not the best. <laughs> no, it's not that. I want for to tell you something about what happened to me when I was in the jail. <laughs> <laughs> tell us in the morning, Luke. <laughs> you know, something happened to me when I was in the jail. <laughs> it changed me. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> It happens to a lot of men in the prison. <laughs> you know? Sorry to hear that, Luke. No, don't be sorry, Andrew. I think you should try it. <laughs> it's all the same to you, brother. I think you should turn <laughs> to God, like what I done. Oh, God! <laughs> Thank you, God. When I heard you sing in the night, I knew you wanted Lord Jesus into your life. So good, eh? And I've decided to stay here permanently to guide you to the Lord. Permanently? <laughs> and this house shall be our place of worship, the faith tabernacle of a church of a latter-day prisoners. Can I just check I'm awake? <laughs> You've never been more awake in your life, Andrew. There's only two of us now. No, let's include Mervyn. <laughs> I've hit him to miss out. There's only three of us now, but more will come. I will Billy and Emer are due back in a week. <laughs> they too will be welcome in this holy citadel. I will. They paid the mortgage. <laughs> well, if that's everything, I'll go back to sleep. You know, I think you're right about that sofa. I think if I'm going to be the pastor of our church, like, it's only right I should have the bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Any luck, son? Joe Hendren, I'll have to open our box. Are you sure you won't have a steak, Rory? No, I'll stick to the potatoes. You've been eating potatoes all week. Like, is it not very boring? Oh, boring, is it? Well, I'm sure the starving people of Ireland found their blighted potatoes very boring during the Great Famine, whilst the rack-renting English landlords no doubt got stuck into their suckling steaks. <laughs> Jerry says you're very welcome to come down to the Sinn Féin Centre. Ha! I wouldn't set foot in that place. Sure, it's full of sellouts and traders and British lickspittles. <laughs> so you're against the agreement then? I'm a true Republican. I'm against any agreement, as anyone knows. Ah! What? what? English mustard! English mustard! <laughs> in a so-called Irish Republican house! It's only mustard. Oh, it starts with only mustard. And before you know it, you have ceasefires and agreements. And Jerry Adams in Downing Street, copper fastening partitioned over tea and scones. Well, that's where your English mustard gets you. Hey, say mustard. I did. It was a patriotic act. You should have Irish mustard. There's no such thing. You're obsessed. I am not. Oh, yes, you are. Look what you did to your kids. I have you know that Patrick and Pierce never blamed me for, the, for ending up in Port Lee's prison. I have had enough of him. Look, I know he's a wee bit hard to stick. A bit? Even Bernadette McCallisky couldn't stick him. <laughs> Think of your 
Mark Trimble loving Jerry Adams. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I baptize you, Melvin. <laughs> We should have a special service to celebration. <laughs> and the finance service. I think we should have a collection. So how much have you got? <laughs> to be honest, Luke, I'm a wee bit short. You haven't been buying alcohol and disobeying your pastor? No, 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 no. <laughs> the church roof needs fixed. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> Either he goes or I go. <laughs> I know he's a pain in the arse, but we Republicans have to stick together. Stick together? Sure, all you do is have splits. Look, he's still a guest in this house, and until such time. Hello? Jerry! Rory did what? He painted Jerry Adams as a British neck spittle? Eight foot letters, you say? Where was this, Jerry? Outside your front door. Right, there. calm down, calm down, Jerry. I'll get a couple of fellas with brushes. They'll be up first thing tomorrow morning. Me and Carl will be up there right away, certainly, Jerry. <laughs> right, that's it. He has to go. He's annoyed, Jerry. Jerry, has he? He can annoy me all week. Sometimes I think you love Jerry Adams more than you love me. <laughs> right, Carl, let's get this people. <laughs> I'm dreading going in here. He's probably been having all sorts of way parties. Aye, oh, I'll probably be picking up beer cones all week. <laughs> oh, happy day. <laughs> It's a martyr's memorial church, but I don't want to live in it. What am I going to do next time I go away? Put you in the kettles! <laughs> well, have you anything to say? I don't know how it happened. One minute I was watching TV, the next I'm dressed like Demis Roussos. <laughs> Listen, fellas. What is this all about? Can't tell you, Emer. We're forbidden to speak to outsiders. <laughs> Drinks forbidden. TV's forbidden. Women are forbidden. And it's no talking in late night by eight o'clock. How am I going to get rid of them? <laughs> Maybe Luke could organise a mass suicide. Don't say that in front of me. <laughs> this is rubbish. When Luke gets back, he's getting his stuff and he's going. He's a nutcase. He'll kill you. Oh, Willie. Oh, I am so scared. <laughs> oh, Billy, don't. He is dangerous. Eimer, I'm a trained RUC officer. I'll keep it on. You won't know what hit him. Wimps at two of yous. Hello, Sarge. I need six Land Rovers and 30 lads in rag gear to evict this corner. <laughs> Name? Red Hand Luke. Sarge? Sarge? <clears throat> Maybe. Confrontations, not the way. Maybe we need to use the force of argument, the power of persuasion. Appeal to his intellect and reason. He voted no in the referendum. 
Persuade him? You have more chance of persuading Ian Paisley to appear in the late late show wrapped in a tricolour singing men behind the wire. <laughs> and every man will stand behind for every man. Ian Paisley, wrapped in a tricolour, coming up on the late late show. <laughs> he was out of tune. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, William. I'm sorry, Andrew, you'll have to do without my spiritual guidance, but there's a congregation that needs me more. God bless you all. <laughs> oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! <laughs> hey, all right, I give up. How did you do it, Billy? Simple. He wanted a church where there was no drink, no woman, no outsiders, lights out at 8 o'clock. Well, obviously he was missing somewhere. Welcome, brethren, to this first <laughs> gathering of the Church of the Present Day Prisoners. <laughs> Billy, my dad wants to know can you help him out? Red Carl. Monday morning, <laughs> this is the GPO in Belfast at 0800 hours. You hoist the tricolour, I'll read out the proclamation of independence. What are you up to, fellas? Shh! Rory, Rory! We've decided you are right. Enough of the pussy footing about. The time has come to take direct action. We're gonna seize a GPU on Belfast. It'll be like 1916 <laughs> all over again. You're going to seize the GPO? No! We are going to seize the GPO. I reckon we'll only last a couple of hours, but it will be a noble blood. Sacrifice. Blood sacrifice, you say? Masters we be! I can't wait. Would I, would I not be better employed staying here and writing a statement? No, 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 no. Ma will do that. We are going to die for Ireland together. It'll be great crack. <laughs> ah, lads, I'd love to, but I, 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 I've got a dentist appointment on Monday morning. Forget about that. Come and die with me and Carl. Open up, it's the police! Oh dear, we're gonna to have to do it here. Carl, the tray car! Rory, your gun! I don't have a gun! You do now! <laughs> Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God! I the God. Arrest. Don't shoot, don't shoot! They're the terrorists here, not me! I'm a friend of Connor Cruz O'Brien! <laughs> Well, Billy, that worked a treat. No problem. <laughs> Oi, Carl, give me back my gun. <laughs> Does that count as decommissioning? Uh, it's the most we'll ever get off you lot. <laughs> Billy, son, how can I thank you? Oh, well, there's one thing you can do. Anything. Could you put some up for a week? A pleasure. Anybody's better than Cousin Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit.